Today, I've got an absolutely insane truck sitting behind me and it's going up for sale. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Ryan Wilson here from Predator Inc. Today I've got an absolutely insane truck sitting behind me and it's going up for sale. It is a 2002 H1 Hummer wagon. Arguably one of the best model year Hummers out there. The 2002, 2003 are absolutely the pinnacle of evolution for over 10 years. There were a lot of changes from upgraded HVAC system, upgraded engine, transmission upgrades, quite a few different upgrades over the years. The 2002, 2003 model years are almost identical. Then in 2004, they screwed up the entire engine by going to a Caterpillar controlled system, a new injection pump. The issue now we're running into is there's a lot of customers coming to us with 2004 H1 Hummers because their 6.5 turbo diesel injection pump has failed and there's no recourse to get it fixed and actually swapped out because they don't make the parts anymore. So huge problem there. 2003 and 2002 being almost identical. There's a lot of parts out there for them. There are really no issues with the truck. They dialed these trucks in. And I also like the interior of the 2002, 2003 model year over the Alpha. The Alpha interior, a little bit more refined. Feel it kind of gets away from that Hummer fit and finish and look and, and style that's so iconic. I mean, and that's just my personal preference. This is an absolute gem because it only has 26,000 miles. One owner car. We've been servicing this thing for years. He bought it from a dealership, brand new, been a good friend of mine for many, many years. 26,000 miles is extremely low on a truck this old. There is a downside to it though. When you have a truck that has this few miles, seals go bad. It's a garage kept vehicle. It's literally been stored in his garage. I don't think he's been driving it for like the last seven years or so. Because of that, seals went bad. There's uh, various gaskets and seals that have failed over the time. They just dry out. That's why it's really good to be driving these trucks, fire it up once a week, do a hot lap, you know, a mile run or half a mile or something like that. That makes a big difference in longevity for the truck. So we went through the whole entire truck and got it dialed, got all the seals fixed. There was even a turbo up pipe that had failed on it. Had a crack on there, we pulled it out and it just fell apart. Got that replaced and dialed in the truck. So this is a truck that is extremely low miles that you can be confident that it's ready to go, except for one thing. Tires, you look at them, they look good, but they're not necessarily safe to drive. They are outside of the seven year uh, manufacturer's recommendation. These tires should be replaced every seven years. These tires have been sitting for quite a few years, so I would not trust these tires. You can go ahead and pick out your own tires. You get a fresh set of tires on here. Rims if you want to. So these are the CPEC 16.5 rims. He also has 17s and 18s, uh, very similar design. And then you also have the quick release CTIS on here. So it has been upgraded. Original owner retained the factory rim. So you have the original rims as well as these aftermarket rims comes with it. It also has the original window sticker from uh, 2002, which is pretty incredible. Truck is straight, paint is in great shape. It has an aftermarket brush guard on here. Years ago, this was manufactured by SMA. We ended up buying out SMA, we bought out all the jigs and so forth, designs on it, and now we manufacture one similar to this, but this is an original SMA brush guard. This is their heavy duty version. Great brush guard with a set of Pia lights from that 2002 era, prior to the LED light bars that are out nowadays that we see everywhere. Nice setup, you can pop those off if you want to, and you're back to stock. It wouldn't take much work to put this to a bone stock level truck. Correct air brush guard on here, pop off our roof rack. Oh, it does have <laughs> aftermarket projector lights. So these are HID projector headlights. We ended up selling quite a few of those sets over the years, and that was prior to LED coming out. The halogen lights were replaced with projector beams, a huge upgrade. Some people don't like the design. 
I think the new technology is a lot better with the new LED lights. And you can go back to that more flat design on there, which I prefer as well. You can go back to complete bone stock with the truck if you wanted to with just a few hours worth of work. Very seldom do you find a truck that is this clean of shape. So let's go ahead and just do a quick walk around, Jason. These are the upgraded mirrors that AM General came out with, a lot better than the older style mirrors. There's a couple other versions prior to this one. Those are really nice to have. We do a lot of upgrades on the older trucks to that specific mirror because it gives you a lot more visibility. He does have our four inch exhaust system on there. You could take it off. I wouldn't because it doesn't really matter. The factory stuff kind of rusts out anyways. That's there if you want it. On the back of the truck, he did have a tire carrier mounted on here, but this is easily just removable and you're back to stock. We've got the traditional barn doors. This came out in, I think, 95. Um, I actually had a 93 wagon and I didn't have these barn doors and this is really nice. They actually had a camper shell door that would come down here, so kind of open up like that. Problem is in these corners here, it would leak like a sieve. You get a ton of water in, but the barn doors fix that issue. Coming down the side, it does have our original fuel doors on here from back in like 2000. This is a fuel door that we manufactured at the time. So there's just cover plates that go on here, security screws that hold it in place. That can easily come off and you're back to stock, or you can upgrade to our new billet aluminum ones that are thick, like one inch plate, machined down, a lot higher quality than, than what you have here. This is our nine foot roof rack. This is our low profile roof rack. The bars go vertical. We also have a search and rescue, which kind of angles out. It's a little bit more popular now, but back in this era, I think this is the first one that we came out with. We also came out with these radius feet here, fully boxed in steel construction. The newer model also has double mounts on here. So there's actually two studs on here and a much larger, wider clamp. This is a really clean truck overall. Let's jump on the inside. I want to show you the inside. All right, so inside this truck, absolutely beautiful condition. If you take a look at this vinyl, here is very soft, very susceptible to getting nicks, scratches, damage on it. And I really don't see anything on here at all. Well taken care of vehicle in, in very clean shape. That's why we do so many interior restorations because we're replacing all the stuff with leather. But this thing is, is in great shape. A couple aftermarket upgrades that he did. And this is one that I would definitely keep even if I was gonna return this thing back to a bone sock level by taking the brush guard and roof rack off. I would keep these billet aluminum parts on here. I think it has a really nice accent, gives a little bit more quality having the billet aluminum in here. It does have the aftermarket billet aluminum dash set, kind of just accent pieces all around. Shift knobs are billet aluminum, it has bezels on all the window switches. Really nice little upgrades here. The stereo system, again, I also touched on that. It has been upgraded, has an Alpine head unit, has Boston acoustic speakers all around, and I would definitely keep those Boston acoustic speakers buried in there. Quality back then kind of rivals a lot of manufacturers today. Does have the JL box with two tens in the back seat. I would ditch that. I'm not a fan of that setup. Also has reverse camera built into this mirror. So this is the thing back in 2000 era we sold and installed a lot of these over the years and i don't know if we installed this but i wouldn't be surprised if we did install it this has a actual five inch mirror or five inch monitor built into the mirror you can see the whole face of it is a little bit bigger gives you some more visibility from versus like the factory one and you do have the monitor built into it and i think that's a cleaner setup than having like a monitor here and changing this out to like a double din monitor plus on top of that you're looking forward, your field of, of vision is all up here. It's not down here and then back up here and out there. So I like having the monitor up here or you can upgrade this to a different mirror that has a monitor built into it, but it emulates a factory mirror. It looks identical. That's an option as well. This is the other thing I would keep for sure is this Momo steering wheel. I don't like the factory one. We do have pristine condition factory steering wheels if you did have to go back to stock, but I keep the steering wheel. It's, it's just a much firmer grip, bigger, uh, bigger handle versus the a smaller diameter grip. So you're kind of like 
grasping around it and your fingers kind of overlap. It's just, it's not comfortable. This absolutely pristine truck is up for sale. Price is $98,900. It is worth every penny. It actually, I think the sticker price on this truck was 110 when it was brand new. So 20 years later, and it is still in almost brand new condition. Definitely a classic. It's not going down in value. They just don't make any vehicles like this nowadays. If you guys are interested, shoot us a call, shoot us an email. I got a hunch it's gonna sell fairly quickly. Don't wait too long. Thanks for watching as always. We'll be back to regular vlogs here later this week. Oh, hit the subscribe button and like button and the other stuff down below and stuff.